noong panahon ng Kastila. The Manila Grand Opera House on Avenida Rizal in Santa Cruz was the center of arts and culture in our capital. So let's go back in time and see just how grand it all was. Ako si Carlos Cendran, at ito na naman ay Kwentong Kanto. Ang Manila Grand Opera House ay natagpuan sa ilalim ng Dorote Jose LRT Station. Great artists katulad Nina Atang de la Rama, Jovita Fuentes, and Cathy de la Cruz performed vaudeville, sarsuela, operas, and concerts here. Noong 1890, ito ay mas kilala bilang Teatro Nacional, isang lugar na nanag-perform ng American theater companies and Russian circuses. Noong 1902, The theater expanded and was converted into an opera house before the visit of an Italian opera company. And when it expanded, its name was also changed from Teatro Nacional to Manila Grand Opera House. But historic moments also happened here. On October 16, 1907, it was witness to the first inauguration of the Philippine Assembly by United States Secretary of War, William Howard Taft. Noong panahon ng Hapon, the Opera House was bought by Toribio Teodoro, also known as the Shoe King of the Philippines, and he turned it into his private residence in 1942. Noong 1943 and 1944, floods and fire damaged the Manila Grand Opera House, but reconstruction was held right after the war. Noong 1950s, it was dubbed as the Theater with a History. It provided entertainment for millennials, charging only 85 centavos for one theatrical production and a movie. At sa dekada 60, nalipat ang pag-aari from Teodora family to the family of Antonio Cabamon Chua at ito'y naging isang sinehan. Chua was known as the movie house magnet with more than 30 theaters under his name. At noong dekada 70, as economic activity shifted from Santa Cruz to Makati, The Opera House was converted into the largest nightclub in Manila, known as the Chicks O'Clock. It catered to the working class people living near Avenida. But because of the shifting economic activity and the blight brought about by the LRT, the club was forced into closure and was eventually demolished. But there were attempts to revive the Avenida. A hotel was built on the same site as the Grand Opera House and to honor its history was named the Manila Grand Opera Hotel. In August 2008, an eight-story hotel and casino complex was opened with a second building opening in 2009. The only thing permanent in this world is change, and the Manila Grand Opera House was no exception. But even though the stars have faded, the light, the light is still worth remembering. Ako po si Carlos Tadran, and I'll see you next time on Kwentong Tanto.